Welcome to Robot Wars Extreme Warriors on the new TNN. Last time we saw Rocky Bot Boa take out the back. Today we're gonna see the return of three bots from last year. Conquering Clown with a new makeover. The Brood who's up for some revenge on Matilda. Unibite with a brand new weapons package, ready to dish out some destruction. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Master of Mayhem, Mick Foley. Welcome to Robot Wars, Extreme Warriors. Many battles have been fought, but the war is still far from over. Two finalists have already clawed their way to the top over the motionless bodies of their opponents, winning the chance to battle the best of the best in the Robot Wars Extreme Warriors Championship. Tonight, six more robots roll into the arena, but only one rolls out. Can you say bot butt whooping? I thought you could. Let's go to Carol in the Pits for the real deal. Thanks, Mick. Hi, I'm Carol Grove. Wow, the heat is on down here in the pits, and so is the armor, because that's what our robots are going to need when they go up against their competitors and the house spots. Their ultimate goal is to secure one of the eight spots in the U.S. Championship. And every team here tonight is only five battles away from robot glory. All right, Carol, and those six bots are Texas Tornado, Black Widow, and Unibite 2. But first up, we're going to see the return of Conquering Clown 2, The Brute, and Sir Porcelot. Conquering Clown 2, it's nice to have you back. You guys did awesome last year, and you're back with a vengeance. What's your strategy? Well, we come back stronger and better, and we've got a secret weapon up there. Why don't you tell me about that secret weapon? Well, that's our butterfly. That'll just bug them so much they won't know which way to go. It looks fierce when I walked up. Yeah, well, it's almost as bad as our blade here. Tell me about the blade. The blade is uh, solid steel, and it rotates probably 10,000 RPMs. Okay. It started out as a car starter, but now it's a robot stopper. So do you think you'll come away with the championship this year? Yeah, we didn't make it last year, but we're going to do it this year. Okay, well, I'll be looking for you. Good luck. <laughs> Team Vicious, you guys have Brute. Tell me about Brute and what's going to make it better than last series. Uh, well, we've upgraded a bit from last series. We have a nice 23-pound uh, spinning drum on the front. goes at about 1,000 RPM. Uh, we have hardened axles this time and uh, some better foam filled tires. Shouldn't have the problems we had last year. Otherwise, it's about the same. What other weapon do you have on uh, We this? have a nasty spike on the back, which uh, served us well last time. Nasty spike. Do you have any words for your opposition today? I'll just say this. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Team Force, welcome to Robot Wars Extreme Warriors. Tell me about your machine. Okay, this is Sir Forcelot. We have five S7 tool steel blades here spinning at 2,000 RPM. They can uh, rotate in both directions. Excellent. What do you have to say to your opposition? When I was a kid, I was afraid of clowns. I'm not afraid anymore. So I'm going to send a clown heaven. From Redondo Beach, California, Root. Brute in the 215 pounds has a 7-inch ramming spike on the back that looks like it'll do some damage. And if that isn't good enough, the drum on the front ought to kill him. From Eden, New York, Sir Porcelot. Well, there's Sir Porcelot, 220 pounds, five spinning blades off a camshaft from hell. It's invertible, but the armor isn't really too much to talk about. From Silvis, Illinois, Conquering Clown. And the comedy entrant, Conquering Clown at 198 pounds. He burned up real good last year, but this year he's coming back with a steel blade and payback in his mind. Roboteer, stand by. There's the Sir Forcelot team, Team Force. And Sir Forcelot there. There's Team's Conquering Clown and Team Vicious for Brute. 
And there is Brute with that mean spike. And Conquering Clown, ready to do battle. And joining us tonight in the arena will be Sir Killalot and his 616 pounds. And with him, the Diamond Edge Axe of Shunt at 240 pounds. Three, two, one, activate. Here we go. Conquering Clown's got a lot to prove this time. He's got that new spinning blade. Let's see. Oh, he does get some action with it. Takes out a side panel of Sir Force a lot. Look at that. Totally disintegrating him. Just on impact. Well, Conquering Clown may actually do some conquering this time as the Brute tries to step into the action. But that spinning drum doesn't seem to be doing too much damage up against the Clown. Oh! Sir Porcelot comes in with a five blades and takes a little chunk out of the clown. The clown is getting a beating out there as usual. That steel prop of theirs is getting bent up like some kind of weird pitch on a helicopter. Conquering Clown better do something as Brute and Sir Porcelot go head up and the clown gets in the middle of them. A little Brute doesn't seem to be too effective with that spinning drum on the front. They might be a whole lot better off backing in with that spike. Look at the damage on Conquering Clown. Well, he's not on fire yet as the pit trigger gets opened by the Brute. That's a good bit of strategy for them since their weaponry doesn't seem to be too effective. And now the Clown pushes Sir Force a lot right back into the corner patrol zone, and Sean is gonna let him know he doesn't belong there. And that's a good piece of strategy on the Conquering Clown's part to let the house bots do all the work. Because you know that corner patrol zone's a no-go area for any of these bots. They wander in there, they're gonna feel the wrath of Sean or kill a lot. <laughs> Better do like just what he's doing, get out of that corner. As the 10 second clock goes down, they're all still working, so this is gonna have to go to a judge's decision. Cease. There are our esteemed judges who'll be deciding on style, damage, control, and aggression. And while they're making up their minds, let's take a look at some of the damage. Conquering Clown went right out of the blocks to do some mean damage to Sir Forcelot. Now, if I looked at that again, I'd think Sir Forcelot or the Brute would be the ones going out, because they were dishing out the least amount of damage. All right, it was too close to call in my book, but that's what we got judges for, and unfortunately, one of these teams has got to go, and uh, gentlemen, that team is you. You guys are on your way out of the tournament. How do you feel about that? Oh, well, we built it in five days, you know, so... Yeah. Built it in five days, but still, nonetheless, you were able to literally spray clown guts all over the arena. Right, guys, right. Ah, if you beep that hoarding and I swear I'll smack you. I, I'm going to be honest here. I don't like clowns. They scare me. I don't feel safe when you guys are around. And I wish these guys were still in the tournament instead of you. But nonetheless, you did a good job out there. We came here to tear them up, so we did. Okay. And now you guys look very impressive. You look very impressive. You got the rotor going. Looked like it was tearing up some uh, some carcasses out there. Yes, it was. Uh, we hope to do more of that. And uh, I sympathize with the guys because I know about building robots quickly like that. But I have to throw this in just because it's too great. Built in five days, destroyed in five minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Hey, you guys want to do me a favor? Take out these clowns. I want the clown to go down. Well, let's hear it for all these teams up here on Robot Wars. Sir Forcelot, what happened? Oh, we took some uh, good hits from the clown over there and uh, broke our, uh, what I thought was Lexan, I think turned out to be acrylic sides here. This shattered it, so it made for good TV, though, I think. Do you think it's repairable? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get it back together. Get okay, back together. well, good luck in the future. Thank you. Sometimes the losers are scattered all over the arena floor, and sometimes the judges have to make the call. This time, they called Sir Forcelot's bluff, sending Brute and the Conquering Clowns on to round two. We will have the battle to determine who they'll take on when we come back. Stick around. <laughs>